Hey guys, it's Kara again. I'm in Lavender Town. Um, I just got the little Sif scoop. I think that's how you pronounce it. And now I'm in the cemetery. This is like the music. Have you ever seen any of the creep creepy pastas about how um, like this song would give people nightmares and all this cool stuff? Like I just find things like that so interesting. Like I don't find um. Interesting. Okay, I need to heal before I go battle him. Um, this is where you find Gary. There's also another theory that when you were on the ship, you killed his Raticate. Rat, rat, ratata. Sorry. I don't know why I was going to say Raticate. Which it could have been. But I'm pretty sure it wasn't. And while I could probably handle him with Nina Arena having a little help. I kind of just don't want to risk it because I want I don't really want to have to come back to um do this just to fight the ghost. Which ghosts in this game are kind of weird. But um they are like how normal games are. Like normal moves don't affect them. And like I said before, um, when I go to Pokemon Center, I normally try to not record that so you don't have to watch me walk back and forth on camera, which is why sometimes, like, I'll go back to the same spot and maybe, like, the character's far away because he didn't walk up to me anymore or something of that nature. Sometimes I start it in a little different of a spot. And if I do any, like, serious grinding, I usually try to do that off camera as well. I almost regret putting horn drill on it because I try to use it like a million times and it's only worked once. But the one thing about these old games that are different than the new games is Swift is the only one with 100% accuracy. The bare minimum on the accuracy for every other move is you'll miss at least once out of 256 chance, which I'm not exactly sure at the moment what percentage that is. So it's kind of luck of a draw. And sometimes it will say like the Pokemon evaded. And then sometimes it will just be like missed for no reason. And in this game, speed has a lot to do with critical hits. And if you do like double kick, um, if, one, if the first one's a critical hit, they'll all be critical hits. Which is, you know, something I'm glad they generally fixed. And in this game, Wrap and Bind are so annoying, as you saw in the last gym. They make you want to pull your hair out. It's so, it's so annoying. Like, I cannot stand it. And I do have three Moonstones, and there's only five in the game. Which, there are only four Pokemon that can evolve from Moonstones. And the main reason I'm not using it right now is because once you evolve Pokemon with the Moonstone, they stop learning moves unless you teach them TMs. And I'm probably going to evolve Nina Arena probably around level 50 so it can learn all the moves that I want it to learn. Well, I don't necessarily plan on using Nina Arena from this point forward for real. Because I want my team to be more diverse. Even though there's nothing wrong with Nino King. It and Nino Queen are very, very similar, but their stats are a little different. And they their movesets are just a little different. So but they're both really powerful. The Nino Queen just kind of fits my personal preference more. But when it comes to those two, it's just all about personal preference. Like with the Eevee evolutions, it also kinda of depends on what kind of team you want to build up. Which I probably won't keep. Vaporeon around forever unless I do have to swim or something. Sometimes I do swap out with um, who I want to use based off where I'm going. Like when I had Clefairy just for Flash, like I don't use Flash very often, so I don't mind having a weaker Pokemon with me to brighten up the way. 
And I know some of this stuff might be repeat if you watch my last videos, but I'm trying to do it in case this is like the first one or two videos that you've seen. I'm not always going to do a recap of everything, obviously, but with that I will. I wish, like in this game, still type was a thing, because otherwise my um, Charmeleon would be amazing against all these Magnemites, but I don't really have any electric types other than I mean, anything good against electric types except for Diglett, and I just kind of don't care about using Diglett. It's just, I just don't, but grass is supposed to be like okay against electric so that's what we're gonna do i can't wait till they all evolve and i mean i know it's kind of cliche that i want to keep all three starters in my party but it's kind of for this playthrough like i normally don't i normally um depending on how my moveset is like i usually get like i actually kind of usually keep blast choice or um Venusaur, which I love um, Charizard. I do. Like, Charizard is my favorite out of all the evolutions. Don't get me wrong. But I usually like to get Flareon. And I just don't want to fill my team up with too much Fire or Ninetales. And then when it comes to the Pokemon League, like, I'm one of those people. I don't mind grinding in games. I don't want to constantly grind. Like, I like to kind of spread it out some. But grinding does not bother me, depending on how it is. And, like, I usually... When I grind, I try to get Pokemon I don't have. So there's a little bit more incentive than if you like just play Final Fantasy and you just keep attacking the same few monsters over and over. It's a little more enticing, a little more fun this way. But I don't mind grinding. As long as it doesn't go over like an hour and a half span, I can do it. And that's when I want to start spreading things out. But, um... I won't get, I won't complete the Pokédex in this game. I've never have in any of the, um, any Pokémon game. I have not. The closest one I almost did was probably Soul Silver. And if you, if Colosseum's included, I almost call every Shadow Pokémon, but I just never did. Which I would love to do. A LP for Pokémon Colosseum, but at this moment, I'm not really sure how to record my um, GameCube and I'm not a big fan of emulators like I'm not against them at all they're just not my favorite thing to use on my computer I just because most of the ones that you can play online like I, ha I did find several sites where I could just play this game online and it supposedly saves and stuff and I tried one and it seemed like it worked but I don't know I, I, I just don't necessarily trust it I guess because it's copyright, like, and I know I, I shouldn't get in trouble, but, like, what if I was in the middle of a Let's Play, and then, like, Nintendo asked them to t take it down, and they have to. Like, I just don't want that to be a case, especially when I own these games, or I could easily borrow them. And if it's downloading, I'm kind of don't like downloading a lot of stuff like this to my actual computer, because I don't have a gaming PC. Like, it's good enough for this, but, um, I'm just... I'm not, I'm just not a huge fan of emulators, and there's nothing wrong with them, it's just... If I was gonna do a let's play, i kind of rather not, because if, if I'm, somebody's waiting for me to do content, I'd rather have something, I guess, more dependable. But if that was the only way to do it, I suppose I would. One thing I never understood about the shoulder and slow poke thing is how is biting its tail supposed to make it evolve? Or biting its head? Like, I've always wondered if, like... I don't know, I just always found it strange. But one thing I also love about the newer games is the pixels are so much better if you're behind it now, but, like, these games bring memories to me. Like, I, I love these games. Like... Honestly, I'm not saying these are better, 
than the new games. Like, they all have their quirks except for Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum. I kind of just didn't care for as much. Like, to me, they were the most boring. I was like, I wouldn't be against replaying them. Like, I used to have them, but then I sold them. And I can easily get them again. Um, and I thought about it, but at the time, I just kind of wanted money. And I did have a lot of DS games, because I used to collect, like, every edition of the game. And I still have, um, red, blue, yellow. Like, the actual cartilages, and not just, like, the DS downloads. I have, um, gold and two versions of crystal, like, um... I'm not exactly sure how I got two crystals, like, my ruby came up missing for years. And one day, like, the day that my ruby came up missing, a crystal, an extra crystal appeared up in my bag, because I had one of those big blue Game Boy bags. And so I'm thinking somebody swapped it out, like, I'm almost convinced that somebody stole it. Because, um, I ended up finding my version of ruby at somebody like my cousin's house so i'm convinced they stole it honestly and it even had my name on the back and it was never played because it was the same move set like from when it started like the same name and everything and like i didn't remember exactly the same name i used but i kind of remember how far it was because i was just far enough to start trading to get all the evolutions and whatnot and i just i just took it back <laughs> but i still have Ruby, Sapphire, and I got Emerald later, but I do have Emerald. And then I did have Diamond, Pearl, Platinum, which I sold. I sold them, but um, I kind of needed money at the time, and it was quick money, because they do sell on eBay rather easy. I did plan on rebuying maybe Platinum, just because it was better out of the three, but I just don't care about being a completist and own every game anymore. I used to. And, um, I did have Heart Gold Soul Silver. I got rid of Heart Gold. I really didn't want to, but like I said, I needed money at the time. And now I'm better with, like, money management stuff. It's just, you know, sometimes life comes up. Like, I normally don't have to sell my stuff, fortunately. But... You know, just sometimes life comes up and there's nothing you can really do. And you have to sell or get rid of stuff. And I've also went through a big decluttering phase. And I did think about getting rid of my um, original red, blue, and yellow. Since you can get them digitally on the DS, which I have. And it's just sort of like, first off, I don't have to worry about playing my own Game Boys. I don't have to worry about keeping up with the cartilages, like if the batteries die. I don't have to bother with it. And plus, I could get money. Like, one of them could sell pretty much to pay for all three on digital. But at the same time, it is sort of nostalgic. You know what I mean? And like, they're the same ones I've had since I was a kid. But at the same time, I have thought about selling them. Um... I don't know if I would sell Crystal. I'm really not sure because that was my favorite game. But Soul Silver is such a great remake that I kind of wish like they would. Hmm. I thought she battled for whatever reason. I wish they would have kind of remade it. Or made, like, all the games kind of digital. Kind of like how they're doing with, um... Final Fantasy, where you can buy, like, the digital, original version of, um... 7, and then they're gonna remake it. Which... I do have most of the original Final Fantasies on, um, PlayStation. And then I have... I have a couple, like, I had three on DS, and I ended up selling it. Because I got it on... PlayStation, which was kind of cool. Man, I've been talking forever. <laughs> um, uh, like I said, I'm trying something new. Like, maybe, like, talking a little more, maybe giving some more commentary. I'm not really comfortable with reading everything. It's just, like, but this is also my very first LP. 
So when I first recorded the first video, which was only like a little bit before, like I got like five minutes in before I just felt very strange recording me reading out everything because, you know, in the first little bit you want to go into every building and explore. I'm not going to do it as much, you know, this far in the game. Dang it, I forgot about the type thing. Um, I don't know, it just felt kind of awkward to me. But doing a lot of talking did feel awkward, like I had to record myself talking two or three times because I was worried about it being perfect and stuff, and now it's just sort of like, I just kind of make sure it's there, which I don't really have a lot of viewers at this moment, which is fine, but, um, it's so funny because like, I was originally planning on recording something on my PlayStation, like I was planning on recording my playthrough of The Walking Dead, but then... I noticed one of my friends was recording, um... They were recording a, a Game Boy game. And when they taught me how to make it show up in everything, like on your computer, without emulators, I was like, okay, I can do Pokemon Yellow, I've been wanting to replay it. And so I did. And I do not have any regrets. This is actually kind of fun. But I am playing a little differently than I normally play. Like, I know I'm still sort of just like bashing through instead of being strategic with the moves. But like, honestly, like competitive battle isn't something like I really like to do when I'm playing the main story of games. Like, I just kind of find it not to be that beneficial. It doesn't really help you out. Like, it's just, I don't know, it's just, it's just kind of like, you don't necessarily get wrecked, but since there's no double battles or anything, it's just, it doesn't help you at all. So I don't do it. And I try to be a little bit more variety in my moves when possible. And some stuff I'm just kind of doing to speed it up, because I didn't realize how long it would take me to battle, like, every single person and whatnot. Which I usually do when it's just me, unless I get too close to the level limit. But in this one, I do try to speed it up just a little bit. Especially since I have plenty of money and stuff right now. And like I said, I ground off camera. So sometimes I go back and fight them. I usually just do grass battles when I'm off camera. But it's whatever. Yeah, um... What's funny is one day I'm going to go back to this playthrough and like look at how garbage it really is. But anybody who's actually like watching this playthrough, thank you so much. And it's, I know it's not like right as I'm recording it. I only have like maybe two people. But, you know, maybe in the future somebody else will watch it and maybe like it. And if not, that's cool. I'm actually just having fun doing it. I am playing the game, like I said, differently. And normally I'd have like a different team and I usually try to keep a, like a very few Pokemon on me and make them really really strong but I'm just kind of not worrying about it and just trying to worry more on like I guess the quote quote best round team or whatever and since people are watching I kind of want to keep all the starters with me and like level them up use them since this is a unique game that this is the only one that you can get all three starters without trading or anything. I should have used Pikachu to begin with. Now, I'm not necessarily trying to skip every battle, because like most of them you can come back and, and do. It's just, these videos do take a while. And one thing I hate about this game is you do have to trade and I, while that necessarily isn't an issue itself hmm. okay um sorry but um it is sort of like nowadays um i don't really have the i don't have a cable i never have and i'm playing it on my ds which i know you can trade wirelessly but 
Um, I think I only know one other person who rebought them because most of my friends are like, if it's not the original, I don't care. And honestly, I love digital versions of games so much better, even though I normally don't do it with DS's because, like, you pay the same anyways. Well, I resell a lot of DS games. Because, like, while I do like them, I play so many RPGs, it's sort of like I put so much time in them, I'm not willing to replay them. Pokemon, I will. Like, a lot of Pokemon games I will replay, or I keep wanting to add to it. Like, I probably never would get rid of my Soul Silver unless something better just comes out as far as Soul Silver. Like, if I had Silver, I might, you know what I mean? Like, I might get rid of it. I wish they would put every, like I said before, every Game Boy game is digital. That'd be so great. But I definitely need to get a bigger SD card for my DS. But I would totally buy it. Like, Nintendo, that needs to be a thing. Like, let me buy this. I will give you more money. And Nintendo needs to learn how to price drop a little bit, but I'm not their management. So what can I say? Nothing. I'm probably gonna switch. Okay, mod. Um. And I... I love just Nintendo in general, but like, I sell most of the Zelda games after I finish, like, I like them and I'm not against replaying them, but I don't replay them enough to really own them, if that makes sense. Like, I've replayed Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask, but like, I did that from like, there's like a seven year gap in between them. And when I played it the first time I rented the game, I didn't own the game. And what I did with the games is I borrowed my friend's um, DS game before they played it, actually. like Because I kind of speed through those games faster than they do. And they're the kind of people that, like, they replay it constantly. So they don't mind, like, you know, having to restart the game for me. But it's like, I'll play it before them because I'm not going to replay it again. And then they can just have it and play it over and over and over. Which is really nice of them, and I usually actually give them about 10 bucks, which I know that sounds like a lot just to play a game. It's 5 or 10, depending on the time and stuff, but it is like, I do play it first, so I do, and they do get new copies of the game, and it is like $40, so they save a little money. And I never asked to play it first, I asked just to borrow it, and they're just like, hey, you know, give me 5 or 10, depending on the situation. And I'll let you just play it first, and then... When you're done with it, I'll play it then. Because they're usually working on like 20 games anyways. So, I mean, it's really nice of them. I always kind of got confused while there was ghost Pokemon in it. Like, while I do love Gengar and Haunter, it's sort of like, almost what's the point? When they're like the the only ghost Pokemon in this original, I like to say 151 because I want to include like Mew, but you can't really catch Mew. And like, if it's only one, and that's kind of how I felt about Dragons too, except for obviously like Charizard. Like, why do you have this if you're only gonna have like one evolutionary line? But it's not my business. I'm like. They know how to make money, and they are really exceptional Pokemon. I just kind of... I have a feeling that more Pokemon was supposed to be in this game. They just didn't do it. But I wasn't a developer in 1998. I was five years old, depending on if it's been, it was my birthday or not. So, I mean, my opinion was invalid. Or is invalid. They obviously know what they're doing. And... Before people say, I wish there was console Pokemon game, and I know this is a little off topic, but I've talked to somebody recently about this, and I've talked to a lot of people. There are console Pokemon games, and I don't believe Nintendo would ever put any games like this, like main series, you walk around, catch, do gym battles, on console, unless they do like a digital download. Because, I mean, it's meant for you to like go play with friends and stuff, and while you can go online and play, and trade and stuff like that's not what the original intentions were like the original intentions were to you know the kids to go out with their friends and 
play and all that fun stuff like like and it did their attention and I feel like if it was console it wouldn't work out as well but I mean there was Pokemon Coliseum and like Gale of Darkness there's like Pokemon Snap, Channel, all those things and while they're not like big Pokemon games and people say they don't count they do count like there were console games and I talked to somebody recently saying they should do one for each generation like they kind of do like they have like Poke Park and stuff and they may not do as well and you know, they're like well you don't have to do the main series game they do like Mystery Dungeons I'm like well they do do it like you just don't pay attention to it or you don't think it's gonna be good but with Pokemon Go out I'm finding a lot of people who are magically just became Pokemon fans and while I don't mind it like because the more people play it the better stuff we'll get it's sort of like a two-edged sword. I'm getting tired of um, people acting like they know more about Pokemon than me, and I'm not an expert by all means. But I've been playing these games since I was a kid. I've been following it religiously. Like the only reason I have a DS for real is for Pokemon and like Kingdom Heart games when they come out. Which Pokemon was my main objective, but now like I would totally do it for new Kingdom Heart games. And while I do like Zelda and stuff, it's just those series are like my bay. Like. <laughs> I hate to sound like that, but I mean, those are some of my favorite game series. And, I don't know, and it's like, I meet so many people who know nothing about it and they're jumping on the bandwagon, which is fine, like, the more people around, the better you catch, like, the better stuff they'll add to the game, because they're like, oh, it's more popular, but at the same time, it's sort of like, I guess I'm getting tired of people with a supporty, like, a superiority, audience, like, hey. <laughs> with a sip, like, trying to act like they're better than everybody else because, like, they think they know everything about the game when they don't. And real Pokemon games are different. And I've actually met a lot of people who didn't realize Pokemon games were still being made. Like, and that kind of blew my mind. It's like, how do you not know they're being made? Like, they come out, like, nearly every year or every two years. But I digress. And I don't mind new Pokemon fans. Like, if they like that and then they start playing the real games, and they're not just a butthole, I have absolutely no problem with them at all. It's just the ones that are being butts that I, I'm getting kind of annoyed with. Well, um, man, most talking I've done on a video. <laughs> and I know every time I hit a new landmark, I keep talking about how it's the furthest I've done on a video. But it really is, it is a big deal for me because I was super nervous about all of this and I guess I'll let you go and just enjoy the game because I'm running out of stuff to talk about unless I'm going to go on a very huge rant. So I hope you guys have fun watching my video and this one might be a little longer depending on how long it takes me to go through this tower. So I kind of want to do it all at once. I don't want to. I don't like separating areas into different videos. All right, thank you.